Hi everyone. Um, so here we go. This is a bit more on angles, and today we're going to look at measuring angles. Measuring angles. Now, I know a lot of you will have done this before, but there's so many little kind of pitfalls people put fall into. So I just want to make sure we're not doing those, and then you should be absolutely fine with these. Um, so I've drawn three angles here to do and in fact I'm going to do one more afterwards but I'm not going to draw it just yet um, I want to do these three first so what we're we going to do with my protractor okay in fact give me a minute I'm just going to zoom this camera in ever so slightly so we can just see a little bit clearer hopefully it's not too out of focus um, let's put auto focus on uh, there we go. Anyway, so we can see a bit better now. So this angle here, so with the angle when we're measuring it, is this part that's kind of um, with a little loopy part. It's called an arc, a little arc in here. That's the part we want to measure. And what an angle is, it's the distance between one line and another by how much has it turned. So what we want to know is how far away, essentially, has this line gone from here. OK, and that's what makes an angle, two lines separating out like this. So we're going to measure this one. I'm going to put my protractor on. And this little cross in the middle is going to go right on the end there. Okay. And this is why a see-through protractor is really nice. Clear one. Now you can get lovely pink and blue ones and things. But these clear ones are brilliant because you can just see so much better. Right. And then I look. So this is all lined up on this line here. Nice and as accurately as you can. And I'm looking up here, where is the zero? Because you'll have noticed on your protractor, you've got two sets of numbers. There's a set of number on the outside and a different set of numbers on the inside. One of them starts at zero here and comes all the way around here to 180. The other one does the same thing, but the other way around. Okay. And all it is, is it's quite sensible, really. It just means you can use the protractor whichever way around you want. So we're going to look down here and I'm going to see where zero is because I want to start at zero. And it's on the inside of my two scales, okay, of my two, two little charts here. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to go all the way around until I see where my other red line is. And it's actually, do you know what? I just sketched these, but look at that. It's exactly 50 degrees. It comes all the way around here to the 50. Okay, so I know that angle is 50 degrees, or the little little degree sign up in there, that little circle, the little bubble. Um, let's try another one. So this one here. Now then, let's have a look. So I'm going to line it up again. And I've picked the same direction, actually. I must have a preferred way of working here. So I've lined up this part to the circle there, right in the middle. And we're starting at zero on inside here. Because remember, if I started here, I could end up at 140, which wouldn't be very nice. That's not right. We want the one on the inside, OK, because we want to start at zero. So we get 40 degrees on that one. Okay, my pen's quite thick, actually. I might even attempt to say 39, but no, I think we're at 40. 40 degrees. And this is why a really nice sharp pencil is good for these. I'm using a pen just because I, I did a one with a pencil the other day. It doesn't show up the best. So I'm just going to go with a pen so you can see it clearly. Okay, now this one down here. I've drawn this one a little bit differently. What I've done, I've made the, these kind of lines quite short. And the reason I've done that is because quite often in, in questions in books and at school, the protractor doesn't really, it's too big. You can't see where the line is going to meet. Okay, so we could line it up here nicely, but we can't see where it's going to end up necessarily. So just to want to show you a little trick, what you want to do is just with a pen or a pencil, just a different colour, different colour pencil. Well, your pencil will be a different colour most likely, but mine's, I just want to make sure so you can see it so it stands out. I'm just going to make these lines a little bit longer, line them up so definitely going the same way. I'm just going to make them a bit longer, and it makes it so much easier to do. Because then, when you put this on, I'm going to do it the other way around this time, so you can see using the other scale. So we line it up there, look. There we go. So there's our zero is on the outside this time. I'm going to come all the way around here, and that goes exactly through 70 degrees. Okay. So that's a 70 degrees angle. Now I did say I wanted to do one more didn't I and I'm going to draw it down here and this is just going to be a sketch but there's going to be something a bit different about this and I will be doing a video in just a moment on classifying angles. Okay but there's something a little bit different about this one isn't there because this time the angle's not on the inside here but it's all the way around the outside and that is called a reflex angle because it's so big but 
there's another video all about what kind of angle that is. But what I'm here to show you right now is how to measure it. Because, of course, how on earth can we do this? Now, you can get like full circle ones of these, but they're not very common and they're really not necessary, to be honest. You can just do it with this. Um, there's two different ways you could do it. We know a couple little things I'm going to write down here. Get my pen. Angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. We know that much, don't we? And we also know angles about a point equal 360 degrees. Okay, there are two facts. If you don't know, get those written down because they're really important, okay? They're really important. And they're going to make all your work on angles much easier to do. So both of these are helpful because if we know that all around here has to add up to 360 degrees, what we can actually do is find out this part here, the one we can measure, and subtract it from 360. And that will tell us what's left out here. So that's the first one I'm going to show you. So with that one there, let's just line it up. And starting it, look at that. I've not even followed my own rules. I'm just going to make that line a little bit longer so I can see nice and clearly. Okay. It really does make sense to do them this way and it stops any chance of you misreading them and losing any accuracy. So let's go again. Right then, so starting at zero, that's on my inside scale. Yeah. I'm going to come all the way around here, and that is actually at, goodness me, so this is, here's 60, 1, 2, 3, so that's 63 degrees, this one here. And we know that 63, add all of this, must equal 360. So we can do 360, subtract 63, which gives us 5 here, get 7, we get nine and we get two. Okay, so we get 297 degrees. So that's one way of having found that one. Okay, that's one method. The other one is to use this information here that we've got. So if we had a look up here, we lined it up like this this time, the other way around, and we know that 180 degrees is a straight line. And it shows us that on our protractor actually, because all the way around to there is 180 degrees. Okay, so if you do forget that one, it is on the protractor there for you. Okay, so we know that all the way up there is 180. So we could even draw like a little, could do a little dashed line or something, just so we don't get mixed up with the actual picture that we started off with. So we know this part is 180 degrees. So now we've just got to measure this little bit here and add it to 180 now, this is going to be a real test of my accuracy here because we should get the same answer as we did on the last one. So we're starting up here this time and we're starting at the zero. And that's outside scale all the way down to here. And we get not that on the dot there. There we are. And we get 10, 15, 16, 17. Oh, goodness me. 17. I didn't actually read the tens unit off there. Let me just double check that too busy counting. See, these are the mistakes you don't want to be making with yours. So 90, 100 and, ah, 117. I missed off the 100. 117. Okay. So now I just have to add those two together and we get, getting a bit of a mess here, aren't I? 180, add 117, which is 792. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. They're the same. Okay. Right. So that is our measuring angles. So I'm hoping you're okay with those. They're, they might be new to some of you, but I think a lot of you will have done these before. So it will be a really nice bit of mad memory instead. So that's measuring. Um, the next thing we're going to do is drawing angles. Okay, so we're going to draw a couple of different angles. I'm just going to write the ones that we're going to do up here. So we're going to draw out, well, I'll write them as we go, shall I? That'll make more sense. So let's do the first one, number one. We're going to do 35 degrees, okay? Quite a small one, that. The first thing you do when you're drawing an angle, you draw a nice straight line like this with a nice sharp pencil. Make sure it's super sharp. Like I've said, I'm using a pen simply because you can't see the pencil very well on the video. Okay, so there's our straight line. 
Um, you could have done it sideways, you could have done it at this kind of angle, you could have done it wonky over here as long as it's straight, that's absolutely fine. Um, you're going to take your protractor and pop it right at the end down here, okay, just like what we did when we were measuring. So it's right at the end of that line, and then come up here, and we're going to find out our zero this time is on the outside scale. We're not bothered down here because our line doesn't come down here. We're only looking up here, and we're going to go all the way around to 35 and put a little dash or a little dot as accurately as you can just there and then with your straight edge you don't even need to pick up a ruler you can use a straight edge on these which is why these are much nicer than the round ones you can just join that up straight through the dot you've put okay and then don't forget the last step which is to label your angle if you've gone all to the effort of measuring it out and writing it out you should at least write down what you've done okay so that's the first one i wanted to do and the second one i want to do is 70 degrees okay no it's not apologies i'm looking on the wrong side of my protractor it's 110 degrees okay i was looking on the wrong side right then so again we're going to start off with drawing a line i'm going to, I'm going to do it sideways this time just to spice it up some of you might prefer them doing them sideways let's have a look i'm going to do it that way instead doesn't matter and now i'm going to put it right at the end right on this side here and if I wanted, you know, I could have done it from this side. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. You'd just be using the inside scale instead, whichever one you want to do. So I'm going to pop it there. There's my zero. You can see that. And I'm going to go now, be careful. The reason I've said 110, because we need to go all the way around to the far side now. Okay. Don't mistake it with this 110. We're starting at the zero and coming all the way around here. Put a little dash there and join it up nice straight line and don't forget to label it so 110 degrees okay so that's the first two now the last one you can probably guess given the ones that we um just measured is going to be a little bit bigger okay and it's going to be too big for our protractor okay so that's going to be the nice challenge here so we're going to do number three this is the last one we're going to do for today we're going to do 210 degrees okay the different ways and let's do this i'm going to do way one let's put method one that's probably a little more official method one okay and we're going to put using 360 degrees okay just as a note so you remember which one that is um so using 360 degrees if we know all the angles around the point i have to add up to 360 i'm just going to bring back the thing we just did here look Let's just, I'm just going to fold this up so you can see it a little bit at the same time. There we go, that's the one we did, isn't it, using 360 degrees here. Okay, we can know, we know that 210 add something must be 360. So let's see what that's going to be. If we do 360, subtract 210, we get 150. So if we draw a 150 degree angle, then the outside of that will be 210 because together they make 360. So this is the first way. So let's do these just as we were doing a moment ago. Straight line drawn. And we're going to measure all the way around to 150 degrees. Okay, so starting on the outside this time, that's where zero is, all the way around to 150. Okay, and just be careful when you're doing them this way because the the place you can kind of trap you can fall into is to then write the angle here but that's 150 we're interested in 210 which is all the way around here okay so just make sure it's the right angle the well the correct angle that you're labeling okay so that's method one and method two let's just try them both because different people prefer different ways method two is using 180 degrees okay let me see that yeah there we go so method two. So this is when we know that if we know a straight line is 180 degrees. So the first thing we can do, we can draw our line, our straight line, like what we've been doing on all of them. And actually, I'm going to pop a little, little line in the middle, a little dot in the middle. That's going to be my starting point. OK, that's where I'm going to measure my angles from, from there. OK, because I know already here I've got 180 degrees because that's how many degrees are on a straight line. But how many more do I have to draw 
to add on to that to get 210. Well, the best way to find that out will be to do 210, subtract 180. Okay, we get zero there. That goes down to a one. We get a three, and that will be a zero. So we just need another 30 degrees. Okay, and just be steady when you're doing it this way, because it's really easy. I've seen people doing this. They've lined it up beautifully well, and then they've gone in here and put their 30 degrees in and kind of chopped off some of it. Okay, that's not how we need it. We need to add on 30 more degrees around here. So we're going to put the protractor over here. Let's line it up as well as we can, nice and neat. Okay, and I'm going to start from here at zero and go around to 30. Okay, and join that up to my middle point here. There we go. So I know now, all together, all the way around there, 180, add 30 degrees, is 210 degrees. Okay, and actually, they're the same. I've just drawn one of them the other way around to that one. Okay, they're just backwards, that's all, it's just a mirror reflection, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, I'm quite happy for you to use whichever one of those you prefer for these size angles, um, which they both work, so whichever one you're happiest with, do that one, that's the best way to do them. Right then, I'm going to load this one up now, and then I'm going to have another video on classifying angles, and that's where we hear all those fancy words like reflex and acute and so on. So, we, that's quite a short one, because all we can do is really say what they are. Um, but that will be coming up shortly. Thank you.